Hello y'all and welcome to this week's installment of my video blog. And as many of you know, I've kind of got a fascination for faster payments. Okay, as many of you, if you know me, I've got a fascination for everything payments. And we're still developing faster payments here in the United States. At least that's what some would say. The truth is they are out there, they are available because we do have Zelle, we do have real-time payments from the clearinghouse that are available and in use now. But when it comes to trends and what's happening in faster payments, I'm really paying attention to what's happening globally. And that is because it helps us to get an understanding of what's happening here. And recently you may have seen where there was a huge outage in Europe and there were millions of transactions that could not be processed because there was about a four and a half hour span that their system was down. Mm, not really a good thing. Well, recently, in fact, just within the past couple of days and it's early July right now, well, I'm sorry, mid-July right now. Okay, late July. It's July. There was another outage by one of the banks that was there. And this one was specific to the banks. Well, reading and researching that more, one of the things I discovered that it's really being blamed on or related to the infrastructure, to the networks, to the software that they have in place. Now, you have to realize that the infrastructure and the networks that they have in place for faster payments have been there for about 10 years now, especially for the early adopters of faster payments. So I'm reading and I'm seeing articles that are discussing that there's already a need for them to update their infrastructure. Now, why do I bring this to you? Because my question to you is, when it comes to faster payments, are you looking at your infrastructures? Are your infrastructures capable of handling faster payments? When looking and planning for implementing faster payments, are you also considering what you'll need to do to improve upon those payments in the next couple of years? In other words, are you looking towards the future and maybe not just right now as far as what's needed? I would really love to hear your comments. If you would, please put them below, share them with us. Let us know what are your thoughts on your infrastructure now and in the future when it comes to working with faster payments. Thank you.